Striker, this will be your first operational sortie. For now, the strike package will do most of the heavy lifting, but be careful out there. We don't want you getting shot down. Transit to the AO with the strike package. Hitman will handle any air threats. Talon will attack AAA sites around the base. Spear flights will then engage ground forces, hopefully catching these guys on the run. Striker, make sure you take out the MiGs on the apron and other ground threats before task force moves in. And good luck. But uh, should be a good uh, good flight today. On board we have some cluster bombs and some general purpose bombs, which are always a lot of fun. We also have a T pod, which will be help us maybe do some auto and stay clear of fire because there's going to be a lot. Of threats. Uh, we're going to an air base to uh, try and recover. It's currently occupied by uh, Desh militants. Our target will be two Syrian MiG 21s that are just sitting on the apron getting prepared. So hopefully, we get there on time before they actually deploy and get airborne. And uh, we're just going to loosen things up, take out uh, the some 200 militants that are currently occupying the airbase, quite a bit of AAA, some different vehicles, obviously the MiG-21s as I just mentioned before, uh, the Task Force Zeus, uh, which is a, a task force comprising of three Chinooks and three Apaches, will uh, come in and try and reoccupy the, uh, the ground there. <laughs> the small airbase doesn't know what's coming for it. These are photos from operators from the Task Force Zeus. With their Chinooks and uh, Apaches in the background, so that's who we're making space for. Find a waypoint two, and then we'll turn to our ingress. And then waypoint three will be our IP. Waypoints uh, four and five will kind of be the target. Lots of militia, lots of AAA, and on apron should be the F. Uh, excuse me, the MiG twenty ones. This is uh, good intel here. Well, I don't know who got this footage. That's pretty good <laughs> intel. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for. Our target is those MiGs. A lot of militia, so we'll try to make a big blast. You guys ever just fly in DCS just for the sake of flying? Like, I know it's a digital combat simulator, but it's like the fidelity of it and just the graphics and the beauty of it and like I don't think you can really do this at least at this level of Microsoft Flight Simulator like this is this is insane this is awesome like I've been we've been flying for I don't know like probably gonna fly for a hundred miles before we even get into uh, the AO, but it's just an absolute joy just to, to fly in the precision that it takes. Like, it's such a blast. Use our Mark 83s. Probably in mode auto, fuse in the nose, detonate instant. We have four of them on board. And uh, we'll maybe at least for now drop them one at a time. Hmm. We might do it. We might drop two. Like, hold on. If we look at the knee board and just. How many feet do you guys think that is?
50 feet? No, like 75 feet? It's probably 75 feet apart, isn't it? Like the wingspan of that jet must be close to 40, 50 feet? So, we did UFC, did quantity two, enter, intervals 75 feet. That might be all right. Chariot, Zeus 4-1. We are on time and on target. Striker, continue to follow your waypoints. Perfect. Alright, waypoint three. This is so dope. This is so dope. So our escort's just leaving us. So we had a waypoint three to uh, head to the AO, and there's our wingman. We're still maintaining about 350 at 18,000. I'm just getting ready. Our flare's on, but not uh, looking at anything right now. Might as well go in air to ground. As we're about to pass waypoint three. And then we'll kind of get eyes on on what's going on. We are obviously already have some assets in the area. Taking out some early AAA. Chariot, Zeus 4-1. And now we can let our wee man... Oh. There we go, so our assets have now taken out some of the AAA. Yeah. And tell our wingman to contribute. There he goes. We got some lethal hits down there. And waypoint four is the circle here just ahead of us. And waypoint five is not much further, and that's gonna be our target. I'm thinking we just get out of auto. Go straight to waypoint five. Our heading hasn't doesn't have to really change. If we go weapon designate, our flare will be uh, drawn directly to that. Now obviously it's looking right there through the cloud, which isn't ideal. Set up for auto with the Mark 83s. Once we get picture, we might uh, see what we're doing. Dropping in from 15,000 is tough when they're not laser guided. A lot of factors can make you. Uh, miss if you're just a little off center as it continues to fall from 15,000 it'll just you know be less likely to hit your target there's a lot of wind be problematic as well now there should be too much triple a so maybe we want it we want to go ccip well, let's go take a look <clears throat> excuse me we'll make it our soy go straight to narrow view we actually see the apron with two MIGs right there, a fuel truck, and looks like some ground troops. 
we can uh, continue our descent and try and find our flight path here make sure everything intersects properly if not then I might go CCIP at the last instant I just don't like how things are lining up see any little movement it's, it's tough I don't really like it we're gonna go ahead and go undesignate go mode CCIP and do UFC one I'm just drop them one at a time go ahead and take a look turns off to the right Bombs away, bombs away. And there's triple A. Oh, massive hit. Massive. And we're getting attacked, naturally. That was a huge score. Make our helmet mounted display our soy and see if we don't see any other targets, but that apron is absolutely destroyed. It's fantastic. Visually it was hard to see those MIGs, I was kind of worried at the last second. They sure did blend in in the apron just in this morning sun, it was low vis, low, low light, so it wasn't very clear, but I knew where they were on the apron. I also like that we dropped them uh, one bomb at a time because it wasn't I wasn't convinced it was 75 feet it was kind of just an estimation so I think that was the right decision there now we definitely had to watch out for that triple a that was a good drop that was a good drop a dark area right there but no one's shooting everything looks kind of calm let's go back to narrow ah oh no. why did i lose oh ah no okay hold on hold up work quick make it our soy what happened no. make it our soy there's something there i saw it now make our Right, uh, multi uh, display here, DDI. Ah, oh, we had it. We were pretty far though. Okay. All call signs, two, four, one. We are ten minutes from the target area. Ten minutes from the target area. We got ten minutes. I got a burst of energy from that that last drop. Slow. It's giving us a really good turn radius. I like being above 9,000, 10,000 would be ideal. Yeah, someone's shooting right there. Two bombs away. There's a Mark 83 with his name on it. Uh, some crosswind. Screw it. I'm going to CCIP. Do a dive. Let's not pull too many negative G's. Where is he? He's gonna shoot at us in a second. I think we got him. Bombs away. And let's turn away. We're staying quick. Hey! Nice! There's a big fireball. Let's 
go see if we need to clean up. I still see lots of fire. So I got one bomb left. I don't know why we're in auto. I still see one. Keep her steady, keep her steady. Bombs away. That was 5,000 feet, that was pretty good. Woohoo! There we go. Those are some important assets. Hold on. Hold on. I think I see someone on the runway too. I think I see someone on the runway. We're just clearing out this airbase. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, let's start climbing back to maybe 10,000. Get some separation from the airfield. I also definitely, I definitely like flying this mission more uh, north-south. Wow, five minutes already. North-south, because uh, with the morning sun, running it east-west would be blinding one of the ways. So we're out of Mark 83s. We still have our cluster bombs. Cluster bombs aren't very effective, I'm not going to lie. They're okay with troops. They're not very good with armored vehicles. Let's see if we can't get visual confirmation of what they are with the FLIR. Let's make it our soy. Oh, someone's already gotten to it. Let's go wide. We got one, and then there's one right here. He's not, he's down, but he's not out. He's down, but not out. We finish it with the gun. I like the gun. I really don't like using uh, buster bombs. I want to go pretty quick. Make sure you're on low, like I switched us right there. Yeah, he's still firing. Wait for us to be in range. Pull out of that. Don't know if we got them. Not quite. We're a little. We're long. Definitely use like the most of our range there. Like there is a tactical on that. On the back of that truck. So in theory, a cluster bomb should kill him. I don't know if that'll take out the truck per se, but it at least should get the the militant. Keeping it nice and tight here, not to get too far away. Oh boy. Okay, let's try a cluster bomb. Not a big fan of them, but. Let's do it for the sake of the mission. Alright, looks like someone actually got him. Looking visually, someone did get him. Yeah, we can see on the flare. Okay, so abort that. Let's use our helmet mount to display and see if we don't see anything else. That's what's uh, really impressive about this mission. There's a lot of moving assets, lots of stuff going on. We also got the three trucks, the two on the runway. This area looks clear. Apron, we can designate it just to see if there's anybody, but like, we torched it. I think there's a fuel truck. Oh, someone just shot. Yeah, there's someone like right there. Altitude. We'll take a look. Altitude. Green tracers usually mean it's some sort of machine gun, like an assault rifle. Red 
means it's uh, some sort of tactical triple A. Five miles away is okay. We're a little low though. I don't mind climbing in the turn. Soon we'll get visual and then we'll decide if we want to do cluster bomb or the gun. Get our soy. Yeah, there's gonna be something there. That might be worth shooting at. And as I say that, did you guys see that? Jazzman just took him out with the with his gun. It's like every time I find something. This is not the AI wingman I'm used to flying with. They're actually really good. They're really competent. Oh, and that's our Apaches. I think they're coming in. That'll be a good time to spot any sort of AAA. Because they will um, definitely want to take down a helicopter. The Apache looks like a lot of fun to fly. I kind of want to start learning some of that, but one thing at a time. Let's focus up. I don't. S oh, damn. Paying attention here. I'm just went on another strafe run. Man, that F 18 is flying low. I just designate this area. I don't know if we'll see much. Let's go back to narrow. I mean, that's clearly completely scorched. Zoom out a little bit. Like, weapons depot completely destroyed. There's this building, but it doesn't look like there's any active threat. Is this on the apron. Those look like some sort of vehicle. Oh. I just literally watched some guys spawn in. Green smoke means friendly, so that suits there. I just watched some uh, enemies spawn in. Yeah, they're shooting at them. Maybe we can drop a buster bomb there and see what happens. Okay, they wanna... Gun strafe? They got a gun strafe. Decent shot on the flare there. I think we did do some damage. There's still some guys. I saw one walking away. Go back to narrow just so we're ready from a. Whoa, hello. The heck? Someone's shooting us by this road. Okay, 6,000 feet seems to be about the limit. Let's maybe circle back to these guys. They're way off the airbase. Now, they wanted a strafe. We gave them a strafe. I'm going to, uh, we're a little slow. I'm going to go switch to 
a cluster bomb and just hit the apron. If we could, oh, the smoke makes it hard to see, but I know Altitude. where it is. Altitude. Bombs away. Yeah, okay, you can see we hit the apron a little bit where the guys were scattering. Take another look in that area with the flare. Our guys are shooting, oh my goodness. A lot of weaponry going over there. I think we're really taking over here. Which is great to see. It's fantastic, actually. All call signs. This is Delta Six. Shield. I say again. Shield. All right. Not sure what shield means, but I'm assuming with the now three uh, areas of smoke means that we've got everybody on the ground. Objective achieved. Delta-6 has captured the airfield. Excellent! Still kind of worried about the guy who was just sitting here in a sort of tactical, but I we're okay. Well a really dynamic mission. There's a lot going on. We just we did a lot of damage in 10 minutes. Suppose we can get out of air to ground. They haven't told us we can RTB yet, so we'll just make sure there's nothing else that comes, no other ambush or anything, but I think this will be a wrap. We got six to seven hundred pounds of fuel, and here we go. Mission success. Task Force Zeus are now in control of all or Almanac Airfield. Uh, all ground forces have been destroyed. Well done, RTB for mission completion. There we go. Fantastic. So I mean, it, it, this is a lot of fun. You get a bit of flexibility. You didn't have to use all your weapons. We did a bit of gun runs, which is always you know, special. And we also got to uh, use our Mark series bombs, which are, you know, if you're new to DCS and new to the F-18, it's probably one of the first bombs you want to lo uh, lose, want to learn. <laughs> uh, I've done quite a few different missions that you can fly for free in my catalog here. This is a much more integrative uh, version, but yeah, I definitely think this is, you know, still relatively beginner friendly, but really, really good immersion. And a lot of fun um, and like I didn't even this music is not edited in by on my behalf this is strictly native to the uh, campaign start thinking about following our waypoints out of here we're six miles to waypoint six seven miles to waypoint six and put our flare back on standby I won't uh, fly you guys back home. I'll spare you guys the journey that looks like it's at least 80 miles away, but uh, I hope you guys like this one. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. If you haven't already, subscribe, because uh, there's plenty more missions in this campaign to go and plenty of content. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight. Yankee out.